everyone, I'm Dr. Gore from Peak Human Labs and today I want to talk about a new supplement that's out there, but it's, it's an old supplement that's become new again. It's called Methylene Blue. Uh, Methylene Blue has been around for decades as a medication that's been used by doctors for a number of different things. One of them is it's like a dye, so it, it's been used in surgery to kind of mark tissues. Uh, it also has been used for cyanide poisoning and it's also an antibacterial agent. So it's been used for a number of things, but it's fallen out of favor because some of the new medications that, that have come out that seem to be you know, more effective for what methylene blue used to, be, used to do. It's an example of one of those very safe medications out there that works really well. The only thing is that if you ever were to take methylene blue, you'll notice that your urine becomes a dark blue color. So don't ever be alarmed by that. It is again very safe. So let's take it. Let's take a step back and talk about why I want to talk about methylene blue. And basically, it seems like methylene blue has a lot of benefits for anti-aging, especially in Alzheimer's. So I know we talk about here about you know the latest news in Alzheimer's treatment, and methylene blue is being considered as one of those supplements that one can take for that. And it seems to have benefits on reducing inflammation in the brain, and it is a superb antioxidant. It does cross the blood-brain barrier, so it crosses into the brain, and it seems to work on the mitochondria, which is our energy powerhouses of the cell. It seems to, in effect, act like a little bit of a fasting mimetic, fasting drug, so it kind of puts a little stress on that mitochondria so that the mitochondria have to become more efficient and work harder, similar to how metformin might be working or fasting works. So it has something like that type of effect as well. Okay, so how would you take this supplement? Well, there are some companies out there and if you click in the link, I'll, I'll send you a link of a, a reputable company where you can buy methylene blue from. The dosage is... Uh, less than two milligrams per kilo. So, you know, approximately most of the studies were done on about 130 milligrams per day dosage. So that should be about the dosage you should be looking at. And then about mechanism, one more thing. It looks like it also prevents the aggregation of tau protein. So we do know that Alzheimer's is a buildup of tau protein as well as a buildup of beta amyloid. So it seems like methylene blue does prevent that aggregation of tau protein. So in a nutshell, I think methylene blue is very safe. It's non-toxic. You can take, like I said, up to 150 milligrams or so per day, and it's been used for decades. You can get this supplement online, and I will put a link in the show notes for you, so just you can click on that. And please let me know if this helps. You can send me a message and like and subscribe this video. Thank you so much. Take care.